What is going on gamers today I'll be showing you how to make a Lua script for any game you play. So what you need for this is the Game Guardian app and the Lua editor. First I'll show you where to download the Lua editor. So you'll want to open up your browser and search ronoplays.com. So just search ronoplays.com and you'll be brought to this website. So here you'll click on menu and you'll click on apps and you'll be brought to this list of a few apps you'll want to scroll down until you see the Q Lua editor so just click on it to be taken to the direct download page so as soon as you're here all you have to do is click on the blue download button and the download should begin immediately so just click on that and click on download after which you'll just click on OK and your download should begin immediately so as soon as it's done you'll open and install your app so just install your app and after it's done installing you'll want to launch it so as soon as you're here you're almost done we only have one last step to go so you'll want to go to settings and scroll down to where you can see your app so just go to app so you can see your list of all installed app on your devices and you'll want to look for Qlua so just click on Qlua and you'll be brought to this screen as you can see permissions no permissions granted so just click on permissions and you'll want to grant the storage permission so as soon as you've done that you're good to go and we can now start however if you want to learn even more about scripting the full guide about scripting check out my ebook link in the description and without further ado guys let's get started so you'll want to click on your editor and today we'll be looking at freezing so we'll be looking at how to freeze values using a script so maybe you've searched for value and you want to change it and freeze it or maybe just freeze it instead of changing it so today we'll be looking at four types of freeze we'll be looking at the normal freeze at the freeze may increase the freeze may decrease and the freeze in range so first I'll begin by building up a menu as you can see I've just built up a menu and I'll save this as freeze.lua so save your file as anything.lua so when we execute this script so here as you can see we have a menu when we execute so as you can see we have a menu and that's exactly what you want to start by building also if you haven't checked part one and part two of how to make script make sure to check them out links in the description so this is part three if you haven't checked out part one and part two check them out first before watching this video so this is part three and let's continue so we want first before freezing we have to have a value in the search results so here we'll be first begin by searching a number five remember the type is dword so we'll search a value five type dword and we want to change it then freeze it so I want you to type exactly as I'm typing so remember everything is very important every special character every uppercase letter so anywhere you see I put an uppercase letter make sure yours is also uppercase or you might get some few errors so make sure you type exactly as I do however I will link this template in the description to make sure you have a reference a reference point so just you can download it from there and copy paste these codes if you get stuck or something like that so as you can see we are now using our menu so if menu is one that means if someone selects option one we want to set the number five and we want to freeze it so we want to change it to a million as you can see we want to change the value to a million and as you can see freeze is equals to true meaning freeze is on and we want to freeze it so now let's test this code in a game so this is a tip this is a tap counter app and it counts the amount of taps as you can see every time i can tap up or down so as you can see we now have five and now let's test our normal freeze when we click on the normal freeze it searches the number five remember it searches the value five it changes this to a million and it freezes the value so now let's test this so as you can see it has successfully changed it to a million and as you can see guys when we try to add our tabs we cannot add them because we have frozen our value at a million and one so there you go 
that's how the normal freeze works so it has just frozen the value and it's now constant so next i want us to look at the freeze may increase so maybe you want to freeze a value such as ammo maybe you're playing a game that has ammo included and you want your ammo to only increase so you don't want your ammo to decrease so it may increase but it can't decrease so how do we do this so again if menu is two remember our freeze may increase comes second in our table that's why we've written if menu is two so again we'll be searching the value five very very same as we did the last time so if menu is two gg search number five so we are searching a value five and the type is d word so such a value five d word and again our freeze so local freeze is gg get results so here we are telling the script how many values we want to freeze as you can see local freeze is equals to gg get results one if you want one if you want 10 if you want 100 this is totally up to you and as as you can see for iv in ips so just type exactly as i'm doing so as you can see we first have to specify the flags as you can see v flag is equals to type d word so we want the freeze to first check if our results is the data type that we search for then value is a million so change the value from five to a million so next is v freeze is equals to true so after changing our value to a million we want to freeze it so change it to a million freeze it and as you can see now the very important part of our script v freeze type is equals to gg freeze may increase so this time not only are we freezing we are freezing it but our freeze may increase so our value may increase but it cannot decrease so now let's test this to see how it works so as you can see we still have five tabs and now so i'll remove this result first and when we execute our script sorry so just execute the script and this time we'll select the freeze may increase and there you go bam it changes it immediately to a million and now let's see as you can see we can go up as you can see I'm, the more I tap the more the values increase however we cannot go down as you can see when I try to reduce see it just gets stuck so we can go up as much as we want but we can't go down so this is the freeze may increase so as we said like a value like ammo or such you want it to go higher but you don't want it to decrease so next i want us to look at the opposite of what we just did so what if you want your value to maybe decrease but you don't want it to increase so this time will do the opposite so again we'll search a value 5 and remember we are searching the data type d word and after which we are getting our results remember i say this is random this is up to you it doesn't have to be one result i'm just doing this to be very very cautious so just make sure you don't freeze too much results because it may make your game crash or something like that so local freeze is equals to gg get result so i'm getting one result and i want to freeze it remember freeze is just a variable here and you can change it to whatever terms you want to use so i pairs freeze do and again we're checking the type d word and the value as you can see the value is we're changing the value from five to a million as we did the last time and v freeze is true meaning after changing it we want to freeze it and as you can see freeze type is equals to gg freeze may decrease so this time instead of freeze may increase we are using freeze may decrease so let's test this in our tab counter application when we execute and select the freeze may decrease option there you go bam we get our value a million and now let's try as you can see let's try and there you go we change it to a million and we cannot go up as you can see we cannot go up but we can go down as much as we want as you can see we are going down but we can't add to our value so that's how freeze may decrease works so you can't have a higher value than what you currently have but you can have any lower value from wherever you're from so next i want us to look at the freeze in range so maybe you want your freeze to be in a certain range maybe from 1 to 5 or maybe 5 to 10 you want it to be in a range you don't want it to go 
lower than a certain point and maybe you don't want it to go higher than a certain point so how do we do this in a script so again i'll tap exactly as i did so as you can see gg search number five so we are searching the value five data type d word and again i declare my variable local freeze get result one remember i'm only using one result here and again the freeze and value we want to change it to a million as we did the previous times and the v freeze is true so we are freezing it but this time as you can see v freeze type is equals to gg freeze in range and we have to add two very important but as you can see v freeze from 1 million v freeze to 1 million and 5 so we want to freeze our data from 1 million to 1 million and 5 now let's test this in our script as you can see we'll select freezing range and this time bam there you go it changes the result to a million and now as you can see you can go a million to one to a million and six but you cannot go higher than that we can also not go lower than 9999 so as you can see we have frozen our values in range so you can only use that range you can go higher than the range and you can go lower than range than the range remember guys the range is totally up to you and you can decide to put any range that you want and that's it for today guys and until next time remember if you want to learn even more about scripting if you want the full detailed guide you have to check out my ebook link in the description and there you go guys remember to leave a like on this video if you have not yet subscribed make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for even more videos like this.